Hello and welcome to Pre-Modern Enchantress. But before we get into the video, if you do like these, please do like, comment and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I do really appreciate the support, so thank you. This deck works on the engine of these two Enchantress cards. Whenever we play an enchantment, that's even if it's counterspelled, just whenever we play it, we get to draw a card. And this engine really helps us to just draw through our entire deck, as the vast majority of our spells are enchantments. We'll use mana acceleration enchantments that either add more mana or help us to play extra lands, and those in turn will draw us into more cards and let us just keep going. We also have quite a few utility cards that help us manipulate the top of our deck or draw extra cards or just flat out tutor up an enchantment that we need. We also have a disenchant effect in Seal of Cleansing. But Sterling Grove is just really excellent here as it protects all our other enchantments and it gives us a tutor effect for any enchantment that we may need. So it's a really, really useful card in the deck. For protection, we have Elephant Grass, which completely stops black creatures and makes other creatures pay mana if they want to attack us. We also have Parallax Wave, which can fade out creatures for a turn or two, as well as comboing with Seal of Cleansing, more on that later. And we're playing Solitary Confinement. At the beginning of our upkeep, we must sacrifice it unless we discard a card, and it makes us skip our draw step. So this is a pretty big cost. But what we get in return is it makes us almost unkillable. It prevents all damage that would be dealt to us and prevents us from being the target of spells or abilities. So it's going to be extremely difficult for our opponents to kill us with this in play. Worship is a very similar kind of thing when combined with our untargetable enchantress creatures. So these are ways we can lock our opponents out of the game. Don't worry about the discard because we will be drawing loads of cards off our draw engine. In the late game we have Replenish that can give us huge amounts of value, as well as Words of War which is the traditional way to win by just turning all of those draw effects into damage. We also have Opalescence, which can turn our enchantments into creatures and allow us to attack our opponents. It also combos with Parallax Wave, but more on that later. This deck has a lot of options. Some of the more spicy builds I've seen play Oath of Druids to get the Enchantress in play, as well as Lotus Petal to speed everything up. But other than that, there are a lot of very playable enchantments that you could be playing in these colors. We'll be playing all of the green white lands that you'd expect, as well as Serra's Sanctum, which is absolutely brutal. It adds one white mana for each enchantment we have in play, which means we'll just be adding an absolutely huge amount of mana with this one. And don't worry, we don't need red sources as we'll get red mana for Words of War from some of our enchantments. Because of the color requirements of all of the mana accelerants, this is one of the few decks that generally doesn't play Wasteland or Mishra's Factory. There are a lot of good sideboard options for these decks. Generally, you'll want something for against control, something for against combos, especially creature combos like Curse Totem. These decks do almost always play Swords to Plowshares and something for against red decks in the sideboard, but really there are so many different options for you to choose from. Ideally, you're looking for starting hands that can accelerate a card draw engine out as quickly as possible, or something that has one of those defensive enchantments for against aggro. When playing it, the whole deck, it really relies on these card draw engines, and we are looking to maximize those as quickly as possible. Once you have them in play, the deck can really start to do its thing. It's going to start snowballing very, very quickly as you just draw more and more cards and get more and more mana until eventually you can land a solitary confinement lock and hopefully just lock our opponents out of the game until you get words of war to just absolutely burn their face and kill them. This deck also has access to the Opalescence Parallax Wave combo, which exiles all of our opponent's creatures and enchantments forever, as well as keeping the wave around forever. The way it works is the wave will come in with five counters. We can remove one to target our opponent's creature. Then in response, we remove another one to target the wave. It's now a creature, so it can remove itself. Once it removes itself, it will put the return effect on the stack, returning itself. Our opponent's creature hasn't been removed yet, so there's nothing else to return. And then we'll allow the remove effect to resolve, effectively removing it forever. The wave counts as a completely new wave now, so it will never ever bring that creature back. If you don't have the opalescence, you can also remove a bunch of their stuff forever as a one-time thing by killing the wave in response with a disenchant effect. So against the deck, there are actually ways around the solitary confinement worship lock, such as making them lose life instead of dealing them damage. 
As well, big fast creatures can actually kill the deck before it gets going. It doesn't have any creature removal or disruption main deck, so those can be a problem. And counter magic just straight up counters the stuff, so it's hard for us to play around that. The deck's somewhat of a combo control deck that's looking to do pretty much the same thing in all games. We're looking to speed through our deck as quickly as possible until we can lock our opponent out. We do have utility enchantments to slow down our opponents along the way, uh, but really we're just looking to do the same thing all the time. And the strengths of the deck, it's super fun drawing loads of cards. It's also quite hard to interact with as everything's an enchantment and removal's dead against it. Has good mana and good options, but it really does rely on the card drawing stuff. And it doesn't really have that good interaction to interact with some combos or control decks. And some really fast aggressive decks can kill you before you can get your defensive stuff online. So here's an example list, but as always, I would recommend you check out TC decks to see some more. This one is more of a standard build. However, I do have another one that has Oath of Druids and Lotus Petal for you to look at. Again, TC decks is just an amazing resource. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you next time.